Okie dokie, so we're recording. I'm about to go live on Facebook for the first time using Zoom. And it's pretty exciting. Oh, how's everybody doing? Is everybody all right? Are you all right? We did some training. Listen, I told you who got me into this crystal swaying baits who I consider as one of my um what do I call her? As one of my um book coaches. It's not officially, but that's just the title that I give her. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh we're gonna call this type type setting uh, type setting the manuscript if I can spell for the pop corn house this is truly momentous 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 and I hope I get a lot of people looking in yada 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 I'm feeling hot <laughs> I'm feeling nostalgic Okay, in the publishing industry, don't just bear with me peeps, I am coming. <laughs> I just give myself too much joke, I've got three things to do today. This is the first one and it's six o'clock. In the publishing industry, editing and typesetting are oh, the longest process. I wanted to give you an insight. Give you an insight into us making history with 30 young black and brown authors that was a part I think I'm talking too much but do you know what I don't business you want to look at it look at it a part of the look excuse me look like me book challenge now it's also saying I can go live on my YouTube and I'm not sure I've not done that before. Uh, not sure if that's correct, but hey, we'll see. Look like me book challenge. We wrote together. We I'm still writing together. Together we wrote the popcorn house. The Popcorn House is the bomb.com. Uh, the Popcorn House. Um, so together we wrote The Popcorn House. Uh, please donate to the note. It's actually donate. I'm going to take this bangle off because it's not about this bangle right now. And I actually do have a bit of a screen which might be a little bit more flattering. Um, so this is coming off. Uh, please donate to our challenge, to our donate to our go fund me page. All right, I've just put the link in. Let's see if I can get a better angle because I kind of look a little bit hard. Right, let's see. Does this work? Um, let me just have a little look. Do, do, do. I think that's a little bit better. I don't know how stable it is though. It might be a bit wobbly. Yeah, I think it's going to be a bit wobbly. I do have a stand, but if I stop and get this out, it's going to be a bit long. Um, all right, let's not worry about that. Right. Okay. Where is our air? There we go. Yeah, go from me page. Woo! 
Go find me. Go find me. So I've got my ice cold drink. It's got a whole heap of ice in it. <laughs> okay, sign in to go find me. We are getting started, I promise. I promise you we are getting started. I promise, I promise you. I'm just gonna take my time me today. And who wanna be a part of it, be a part of it. And if you don't, you won't. Okay, so let's go to my dashboard. Let's view the campaign. All of my eyes just be friends. Friends I don't have anymore. You know about that, people? Friends I don't have anymore. Friends I don't have anymore. Okay. What is it saying? Right. So hopefully this should be typesetting for the... Oops. Choose where you want to post your broadcast. Okay. Event logs to copy. Um, connect to your live stream. Choose where you want to post it. Preview. Okay. I think I might have to refresh this then. What up, what up, what up? Let's try that again. Okay, I, that's timed out. We're gonna start that again. All of my let's just be friends. Friends I don't have anymore. Right, we're gonna try that again. So I was writing so much, it's just like typing out on you when something. I'm a time out on you. I'm a time out on you. All of my eyes just be friends. Friends I don't have anymore. Oh, mate. Sorry about that, people. Sorry about that. So, what am I feeling? Nostalgic. <laughs> feeling normal. I don't think I'll ever feel normal again. Type setting the manuscript for the popcorn house. Right, okay, going live. Let's see. Let's set up. Let's see what's going on. We're going live. He's just setting it all up. Hmm. I'm going to try and go live on YouTube as well. Let's see. Hopefully, it's okay. I'm going to have a little look. Are we live yet? Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a part of history, y'all. Ah, oh, yes, I'm live. Hurrah, hello. So this is the first, <laughs> hi Justin. This is the first time I'm doing a Zoom live. And this is the first time I'm letting you into my secret source of uh, typesetting and manuscript, which is the longest part of the job, but I feel for the popcorn house, it needs to be done. So um, while, I'm going live. I'm just going to see if I can go live on my YouTube at the same time. I've not done it before, so I'm not really sure. Ah, no, I can't. Okay, not a problem. So, oh, it says start a watch party. Let's make sure you can all hear me. One, two, mic check. Hold on. Let's have a look. Check, check, check. Mic check. Okay, you can hear me. It sounds a little bit low. Let me have a little look. Let's turn this up a bit. 
I'm not really sure. Woo! How you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. How are you feeling? Hot, so, hot, hot. Oh, it says start a walk. Right, okay. So, everything is everything. Um, so, I'm just going to start a watch party, probably on my Peaches Publications page. Um, I've got my Just Write It Tribe. Oh, I don't think you can do pages here. Mm, I'm drawn to loads of different things. Right, welcome. My name is Winston Duncan. I am a book confidence coach. And we are jamming. I've got some jamming hairstyles. And today I'm going to be spilling the sauce on. Yes, let's add the video here. I'm going to be spilling the sauce. I've never done a watch party in my life on uh, on uh, typeset in a manuscript. Right. I think we might be doing a watch party now. And I might need to charge my laptop shortly. Um, Hey, greetings, Pastor Tunji. Big up. Pastor Tunji is also a publisher. He's doing some radio shows as well. Much love. And um, yeah, that's just what it is. All right, I think my watch party is starting. <sighs> We're just going to start. <laughs> Technology, you know, the older that I get. <laughs> I just like, love it. Right, okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Winston Duncan and I am your book confidence coach. And um, I'm very proud. Uh, we've got the popcorn house here. The storyboard has been written. This is popcorn house. And yeah, we're doing big things, trust me. So we've got 30 young authors that's helped to make this story, given us ideas. And I've gone on to do a storyboard, which is now at the designers. And in regards to the storyboard, I am, um, you know what, I can't even see questions or anything. But it's not really a question and answer. This is just like a little session to show you about typesetting. So thank you. I want to just say thank you, first of all. Thank you to everybody that has seed do donated. Yes, I got emotional, but that's just life, isn't it? Like, I'm a human. I'm not superwoman. And sometimes you got to break down to break through. So I've got my mop here. I'm going to be going a little bit like dab, dab, dabbing. Dabba, 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 dabbing. Dab, dab, dabbing. And as you can see, I look a little bit nice and matted. Not too hot and sweaty because whew, right about now, out there is blazing. My goodness. Let me try and go back to this main page. I've set a watch party. Hopefully, y'all can see it. Oh, right. No, I don't want to. Let's stay. Leave the watch party. No, I don't want to. I'm supposed to stay at a watch party. See what I know. <laughs> so, yes, popcorn house. Right, let's get to it let's get to it so i'm gonna share my screen actually no so before i do that so <laughs> for those of you that don't know my name is winston duncan i am from peaches publications i have been doing my publishing for about four years now and i publish authors books motivational books spiritual books poetry books and this is the first children's book that I personally am publishing. So you see the banner here, look like me. It's all about getting reflections um, from our societies and from our groups. So uh, currently, as we know, oh, we've got three people watching. You want to know the secrets. Hi, Pomone. Oh my God, this is amazing. Pomone, you're a legend. Greetings. Welcome. I'm honoured. A legend from USA. You've got your books as so, well. Uh, currently, as we know, oh, we've got three people Hold watching. On. <laughs> Let me mute that. Welcome. I'm honoured. I'm honoured that you can be here. Welcome. So, um, yeah, so basically in the UK, we have 9,115 publishing houses. And in those publishing houses, we've got 4% of main, main characters in children's books compared to the 33% of children that live in the UK, which is black, Asian, or minority ethnic. Now, what you've got to understand is that's one third of diverse young people and content that do not see reflections in their books. 
that do not see characters like look at them. And I'm, 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 I'm fuming. I really am. So we have some good news. We're at the last session. And on the 5th of September, we are going to do the last final look like me book challenge and yeah you know children that are aged between seven and 12 we want them to come along and we want them to be supporting so that's pretty much it really in terms of what we're trying to do to change the narrative the statistics are from the center of learning primary education and they're really damning and it's really sad it really is. So I'm here in the UK, London, England. It is 34, 35 degrees and I'm hot and baking, but I've got my fan on. If you hear it in the background, I'm sorry, but I definitely can't do this without a fan and I'm melting at the moment. So I just want to thank my team and all my lovely people that are out there lovely to see you two um, that are supporting and yeah we're just gonna really you know get to it and I hope you enjoy right so I'm gonna share my screen just inviting a few people to have a little look see what goes on so editing and proofreading are the most lot is the longest part this is what some authors don't understand you have to be really meticulous you have to be really patient and you have to spot things you know so i'm just going to give you a uh, insight into the source i don't know why but i just feel like it today <laughs> into the source of publishing and what i do um very frequently on a weekly basis <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to share my screen now from Zoom. I've got my other screen up, so I should be able to see. So the book is called a manuscript. It's called uh, the manuscript is called the the uh, popcorn house. So where are we? Um, I've set it up. Here we go. Right. So hopefully now it's switched and you should see a white screen. Um, I'm just waiting for it to come up on my other laptop. As I've said, this is, you know, the first time we're doing this. So this is the blank campus. This is where we're going to make magic. This is where we're going to have lots of wonderful things happening. And I'm just going to do the outline today. So it's sharing now. Yep, it's on. I can see everyone's got that. Okay, good. So we're going to get started. So I guess the first thing that I do, I think about the book I think about who is for I think about the target audience I think about the size so let's do that the first thing that we're going to do um, let me just come out of my email so we don't hear that yeah okay I'm out of that and if you haven't already, follow Crystal Swain Bates. She sold over 300,000 books. <laughs> Can you imagine? 300,000 books. I'm just like, you go, girl. Hey, that's what's up. And I take her free courses. She has five-day free courses on how to put your books together. And even though I know how to put the books together, I still take it because I just think it's so important um to connect so join her uh, i will put her details in the feed so you can check out her books on amazon and you can see exactly what it is that she does big up to crystal she's amazing okay hi tina hope you're well we're just getting started all right so size we ha you have to know the size i've got a list up here of different sizes of books so we're gonna go for what you see here which is a square which is 21.59 by 21.59 you can have a square book you can have a rectangle book for me i saw this book as a square so um yeah let's 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 do this so uh size i'm gonna go to the size is here and we're gonna go to so it's not a4 we're gonna put our own in so 21.59 space centimeter not dot com <laughs> ah. okay 
Okay, 21.59. Now some people do it a bit bigger for the bleed, but that's if you're doing the independent print only. Down here, we want it for the whole document. You've got some options, selected text, but we want the whole document. So I'm gonna say, okay. So now, boom, this is our square. The font that I use is called Calibri. So let's type it in, the Popcorn House. And it's called, the subtitle is called Team Work. I'm letting you in some real gems. If you've got any questions, please pin them below. Teamwork makes the dream work. I've been wanting to do this video for a hot minute, but boy, it just, the hot minute just wasn't coming. You know, I just had a lot on and um, that's just what it was. So here I'm going to put and the look like me authors look like me book challenge authors because it really was a collective i've brought everything together but it really was a collective so i'm going to center it now there's different types different formatting you know it just really depends on you yeah you've just got to see hey andrea how you doing my lovely hope i'm glad you're well you've just got to see what works for you um you know yeah that's all i can say just see what works for you uh, different styles. The reason why I use Calibri is because it's dyslexic friendly. So for those of you that don't know, I'm dyslexic and um, despite being dyslexic, I can still be a good editor. So yeah, um, so, so basically it varies about size, but what I'm going to do is make it bigger. So in fact, let's do the title first. So let's say for now, Hold on, I want you to see this full screen. Let's say for now, we're just gonna make it 72. Bam! It's about the style. Do I like it like that? Not really. I think this will probably be a bit better. Uh, close down some of these paragraphs. The spacing looks a bit off. So we we'll just make it single so it looks a bit closer together. And this really is, you know, a labor of love. This is not something that you can just, you've got to learn your craft. Do you see what I'm trying to say? That's, that's, that's more or less it. You have to learn your craft. Um, I think I'll probably go for, 16 maybe it depends how it looks on the page so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add in some page numbers and i normally do page numbers with a line but today because not all the pages will have uh page numbers i'm just not going to do that and um, this is just really such a beautiful book that it's going to go to the edge of the page so you're not going to need a header either so I'm just going to go for something nice and easy so I can see how many pages we've got. It's taken it at the top. I don't know why I did that. I thought I was in the bottom. Let's try that again. Click in the bottom. And um, if you're finding this interesting, please do share because it's not often that I do something like this because I'm busy and yeah, but because it's the, this particular book, um, this is what we're doing. So this is our page number one. This is what we call a title page, okay? So that's in place. So now I'm just gonna do a few more pages. So let's say one, two, three pages. If I make it a bit smaller, you can see. Uh, let's try and split so you can see two pages at the same time. And you know, I'm a bit of a geek really. I really like uh, typesetting, even though it takes long. Mm -hmm. I really do. 
and I might need to go and get my charger in a minute because this battery is going down. All right, so bam. I think the text looks a bit small on the author, so I'm going to probably make it 18. But you've got to just judge it yourself, okay? Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. I might not keep this font because it's children and, you know, we might do something a bit fun. Let's see. But it has to be readable. Now, that looks fun, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks fun. I'd keep Calibri here and I'd keep that here. So something like that. That looks a bit more zany. Um, whoa. Okay, and then what I am going to do is insert our logo, which hopefully is here somewhere, because I downloaded it the other day, logos, 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 you know what, I've just got so many files. <laughs> But yeah, it's always good to make sure that you get the right information that you need. You know, there's lots of tutorials on for those people that are doing independence and stuff. There's lots of new tutorials out there. Uh, I'm just looking for our logo. I know I downloaded it the other day. So it's got a new laptop. So let's see if it's in here. Mm, let's just be free. Ah, oops, I think I found it. Is that it? Um, pictures and logos. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. Children are playing in the background, if you can hear them. Darn it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to spend time looking for this logo. Because right about now, it's not where I thought it was. You can see why this takes some time. Oh, okay, no, right. So I would place the logo normally on page number three, but because we're watching page numbers because it's a colouring page, I'll probably just put it on the first page. All right, so we've got that. So now what we need is something called a legal page. So I know where that is. Now, a legal page in your book is really key because it tells you who's written it, who owns the copyright, who is the editor, and so on and so forth. So, a legal page. Oh, what is it saying here? Um... Okay, I think it was just showing some folders. I don't know. Um, right, I have to get this up. So give me a sec. Legal page. There we go. I got it. It's in my forms. I got it. I got it. So yeah, people don't get it, but you really do have to have these kind of things in place. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. I probably won't fill it out now because this is really just a quick little taster just to get going. Oh, it's been a bit weird. Sorry guys, I know you can see some blank stuff. It's because I'm not sharing it, that's why. All right, so for now, I'm gonna pop the legal page here. So as you can see, everything in red is normally what I would change, whether we've published the book or not. Um, doo -doo -doo. So it's got all the ISBNs where we get the pictures. So we don't need that pictures courtesy or pick a bee. So that can go. Uh, Pickaby is a free roll e website that has pictures and stock photos that you can use. So you've got the text copyright here. So these are all very, very important things. I'm the editor and the typesetter. And the proofreader, I know who that's going to be. So that's Joanna Oliver. So I'll just pop her name in there. Right. Okay. So. The popcorn has get on board. 
you know, be generous, give us a donation, help the children. See, already my eyes are not liking it because usually the type all page, I just leave blank. So I might just be traditional and do that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that folder and I'm now going to get something out called an industry standards contents page. Now, this is what I have in my workbook. If you'd like a copy of this, you know, every book needs to have this in there. Uh, plain tables of content. So, you know, it's really, really important. Ah, it's got the legal page in it. Isn't that ironic? I should have just gone there. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's get that off. So I'm going to put that here on page five. It's gone on page six, I don't know why it's done that. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't know why it keeps showing the blank screens. I think it's because it's, I'm showing private stuff. But I just really want you to see, uh, you know, what's going on with the book rather than anything else. So I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. Um, so here, this is the tables of contents page that we get all our authors to use. Very, very important. Oh, bless you, Pomone. Thank you so much for donating. That is so kind. I really do appreciate it. It's a really great initiative. Thank you. And do put a link to where your uh, books are that we can read and I will reshare. Thank you, brother. All the way from America, you know? We, we definitely need to get the book published. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you to all our seed donors because because of you, we've got 30 young children able to do so and become authors aged 7 to 12. All right, so this is a table of content. So everything on here is roughly what, you know, you would want. So I'm going to tell you what I'm taking out. It's different for different books. You know, for a novel, you shouldn't have really everything like this, but um it, it really is different so we've got dedication that's fine acknowledgements that's fine forward that's fine we've got that so i'll put that in introduction yep chapters we're not going to need it really because it's just one long story epilogue we'll keep about the author author i suppose it's authors because it's plural there's a lot of us so we'll keep that services we'll keep reference lists we don't need useful links i'm going to put a question mark here because i don't know study notes no we don't need but what i am going to do is i'm going to um add in something and what i'm going to add in is after the introduction after so there's there's going to be for, for the sake of the book right now, I'll just leave chapters in here so you know this is where the story goes, just for the sake of that, okay? Um, and then after that, we're going to have something called an activity page, okay? Great. Yes, yeah, so I'm pretty much happy with that. I might tweak it a little bit. Um, I'll just quickly put a link into... Is it going to keep doing this? Uh -huh. I must might quickly put a link into to show you where you can get a workbook. It is available on Amazon as well, should you, you know, need it or require it. Um, but if you want a signed copy, it's called Just Write It. You can get it here. And also we're going to be doing a Just Market It one as well. And um, that's going to be quite key to what it is that we're doing okay so let's see let me just pop it in here for you do, 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 do. so the just market one is going to be for authors who want to market their books and they're just not sure right okay um Because I've got client confidential things on there, I can't really show you where I'm getting everything from the folders. So apologies for the, the grey screen. I didn't even know it did this. But um, 
I just uh, want to, you know, keep keep their information private. Right, okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do now is just copy this and I'm going to put it on the next page. I'm going to make it a size 20. Now again, this is just me and what I do. Ooh, no, that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is just me and what I do. Everyone's different. It's, this, is, this is just the way I do it. Um, I'm going to make it bold so it stands out. And then I'm going to center it. And then what I'm going to do is uh, click down. So control enter. That's one. Control enter. That's two. And just keep doing control enter to make pages of the book. So now we started off with one page, but as you can see, the pages are getting more. We're on page 11. So this is what I'm going to just do all the way down. Activities page is really exciting. And um, if you've got any questions while I'm doing it, just put it in the comments box. I will answer as we go along and that'd be wonderful. Do, 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 do. Useful links. So yeah. All right, so for now, we have a 16 page book. We started with one and now we've got 16 pages. Okay, so for the children, I think I will do this center. And again, because they're children, the headers, I'm gonna make a bit more quirky like we just did with this lovely snap IT. I've never used that before. Probably make it just a tad bit bigger because they're children. And just, you know, try something different. I can always check in the proof, maybe give that a bit of a space. Let's just see what kind of spacing we got. We'll just go to paragraphs here. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't set it at multiples. So I don't know why it's doing that. It's annoying me a bit. I just normally do it on a single line, really, if I'm honest. Looks a bit gappy. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, but I don't even really like that. So I'll worry about it later. But you get the idea. So now what I'm going to do is use a size 16 Calibri font. I definitely wouldn't use that header because it's not readable for the whole text. So just going to make sure it's size 16. And I'm going to just left align it. Well, actually for the dedication, I center it, if I'm honest. <laughs> It's just a style thing again. It's up to you how you do it. So, um, two brother there tie, aka. I'm gonna get this correct spelling of his name. I think it's Chi Jokey. I'll double check that on Facebook. Um, Hmm. Right, so two brother bear Ty, aka Ben Chijoki. Uh, thank you for the music. I'll probably put that on the second line. Um Thank you for the music. And then I'm going to put rest in peace. See, I'm not sure like how it's lined out, but I think I'll probably do it like that. And then what I'm going to do is just get some information up here. Um, so I'm dedicating this to my lovely friend, Ty, who sadly passed away, coronavirus complications. Long may he rest in peace. And no one's actually seen this. This is a, um, this is a first, this is a, oh, why is it doing that? Let's just see. Um, no one's actually seen this. 
not even his family. I'm going to frame it for his sister and his mum. Um, but I actually did a watercolour. So we've got watercolour illustrators that work for us and they're free freelance and they work for us and they make beautiful illustrations. And I'm just making sure, oh, I want to try not to cry here. <laughs> um, you know, he was just well loved, this man. So this is actually going to be an exclusive. So I'm just downloading it now. And um, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to copy it. Oh, gosh. I know we've all got to go, you know, it's a part of the process. But it's sad, nevertheless. So I'm just there. There it is. Oh, there's my beautiful tie. So it's gone onto the other page. Sometimes it does stupidness like this. So you've either got to make it smaller. In fact, what I do is I make it tight so I can move it around. And like I said, this is really a long process. It's like we've not even got the images on the book yet. But yeah, so if I just shrink it down, you might be able to see this a bit better. Um, so because we're going to the edge of the page, we can bring the artwork all the way down. What I don't want to do is stretch it out. Uh, hold on a minute. Let's see. Is it going to allow me to go down? What's it doing? It's playing silly buggers. See, this is why it takes so long because it just does stuff like this. And this is what people don't understand. Um, oh, he looks beautiful. Right, there is a way that it can... Oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Uh, okay, let's go back. So, Control Z. We're going to just go back a couple steps. Ugh. Hold on. It's not even letting me do control Z. Wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> I think it's going to sleep, my laptop. All right, so put your questions at the bottom. I will answer them. Come on. Right, okay. So here now, I'm just going to... Oh, boy. Uh, put in front or behind? Hold on. Now, I'm going to put... In behind the text there we go so now I should be able to stretch it hopefully and stretch it up yeah there we go and um, I'll work on it a bit later but I don't know why it's, it looks like that it should just really be black I'm not sure let me just have a closer look because I don't want it to obscure his halo. So let's just, uh, or I might just work with the typesetter and do this. Ah, okay. Right, so he's, if you look closely, his face is a bit elongated. So that's what we want to try and avoid the, it stretching out. So I'd have to kind of maybe, I'm just playing around with it, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of things to look at. So that's more what he looks like, but then it doesn't cover the page. So probably what I'll have to do is crop it with my designer, but just for argument's sake. Yeah, let's just, should I leave it like that? Or Yeah, because his face doesn't look elongated. So these are the things that <laughs> I have to look for when I'm doing my books with clients and stuff. It's really interesting stuff, really. I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to it. <laughs> Boss confidence coach, ah, oh, bless. Yeah, I'm teaching the people them. Thank you for sharing. Um, okay, all right, so I don't even know, I can share, can't I? Let me, just give me a second, see if I can share this anywhere else. I thought I could share maybe in my page yeah, uh, I'm just going to quickly share this on my timeline. Uh, Peaches Publications. Just give me a second, please. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to share it on there. I'm showing you 
So is it hot where you are, where you're watching? To typeset a book. All right, cool. So I've just shared that in Peaches Podcast. This is my first time, so I'll know next time I will have a better idea. Right, so that's the dedication. So acknowledgements haven't been done. Forward has been done. So I'm going to whip that up. That should be chapters plural. Um, introduction hasn't been done, but we've just now placed it. So I'm just going to go and get the foreword. It's written by a lady called Miriam Manderson. She's a head teacher for secondary school. And she's been with us all the way, sharing her insights. I have to read it and go over it, but there's nothing wrong in me putting it in the page because, yeah, there's just nothing wrong with that. Um, oh, thank you so much, Masekwa, for your donations. They're so generous. Thank you. I've just seen them on my emails. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. You know, it, it really is a worthwhile cause. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Pomone and Mosequa. Thank you so much. Bless you. We need to, we need to connect. Okay. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm going to my emails and I'm just going to pull up her, um, I'm going to pull up her email, which has the foreword in it. And I think next time when I do a tutorial, I'll be able to um, let's open it up. I'll be able to have everything in a folder and then maybe I'll be able to share that folder so you can see exactly what's happening. So she's done a nice lengthy foreword, which is always good. And you know, her working in the school is always beneficial as well. So I'm just gonna plop it right here. At the moment, because it's a children's book, I guess um, 16 is the right font, but because there's a lot of text here, probably we're going to keep it at, see, it's not, it's in, it's in Times New Romans. So I guess we're going to keep it at, um, hmm, let's think. So Calibri, let's keep it at, 12 for now but that will be subject to change because if i edit it one of the things that i want to make sure is um if i need to reduce anything or because it is a children's book um but it's a very thorough port forward and the other thing i'm going to do is make it justified most books are justified some are left aligned but most books are justified Beautiful. Okay, wonderful. So um, what I'm going to do right now is just quickly go and get my charger. And while I'm getting my charger, if you can put some questions below um, regarding the, the typesetting, then uh, that'll be fine. And then we'll continue on. So if you give me about a minute. Um, I am going to, <clears throat> excuse me, is it? God, hold on a minute, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna go and get that. Hold on.
Okay, I'm back. I'm charged, charging up. Let's just plug that in. I've actually got another laptop I'm looking at. That battery's gone, so I just want to see that I'm still live. So I'm going to charge up on that. And we can continue. I'm going to show you the storyboard that I've done as well. Right. Okay. <clears throat> right. All right. So I am back. Okay, right. So I'm just going to show you the storyboard. Just give me a sec. Now, this is the first time I've done a children's book. Crystal Swain Bates has a six figure, it's called Six Figure Income. I'll put it in so you can have a look. What I'll do, I will share the Facebook so you can see what I'm doing on the Facebook, all right? Now, this is the first children book I've done. So I've just done it under her training. So I'm not gonna pretend like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> because even though I've done books, it's so important to you know, know that a children's book is something so new and you're going into another arena, okay? So, I think what I'm going to do is open another window and then I'm going to make that to be able to share it so you can see the group and anything that I'm doing on the website. And then you'll be able to know going forward to connect to her. She's going to be doing a masterclass on marketing. And I just believe if someone's ahead of you, you've got to learn their talents and their skills and what they know. This is her book, I'm a Pretty Princess. She partnered with Ingram Sparks. So basically, Ingram Sparks gives this out for free. This is a 10 by 8 by 10 book. Yeah, this is her hair. Crystal Swain Bates, young lady, young married, woman of colour. And basically, she specializes in children's books. So this is who I've been learning from. Really, really talented, really, really amazing. Right, okay, so we're sort of halfway in. She does colouring books as well, so we're going to do our first colouring book. Right, so um, I'll put the link in a moment to her shortly. Right, so what we've done, we've created the manuscripts. Currently, it's 18 pages. We've put out the tables of contents. You need the professional tables of contents. A lot of people write their books and they don't have everything in there, which is a shame. So we definitely, definitely need that. And once you've got the professional content you can start to build the book so the dedication is to top, uh, brother to my brother Ty Bear. <laughs> oh, rest in peace long may your music live acknowledgements will be to everybody that's been involved in the project and how I want to acknowledge them then we will have the foreword which will be by Miriam which you've seen it's come on to three pages so I'll probably We'll definitely try and cut that down to two because you know um it needs to be short and sharp for the for the audience then we've got the introduction which will be done by me why i decided to do it it was an initiative that i was doing on my birthday um and then we've got the uh, chapters which is the actual story which i've got the storyboard here so i'm just going to quickly go through it with you and then we've got the activity page, which is, I've got a little, what do they call it, um, image that I'm going to put on there. And epilogue about the authors. And yeah, I think that'd be pretty much it. 
for today. Um, right, so let's start with storyboards. So these are the characters, they've been named now. So we've got Zion, he's the boy. Nevea, that's the girl. Um, Emperor Mystic, Lion of the Jungle. Ladybug, the troublesome fairy. Then we've got Jellybow here in red. And then we've got <laughs> Donnie Dallas. <laughs> That's a celebrity name, isn't it? Donnie Dallas. <laughs> I'm going to change my name to Deepole. I'm going to be called Donnie Dallas. <laughs> and then these little scribbles below are their characters and what their traits are. So Zion is a prank star, funny, creative. Um, and Nevea is a nerd, brainiac, confident, culturally woke at age nine. <laughs> um, Miss, uh, Emperor Mystique is the king of Kalea, Kalea, <laughs> That's one of the children's names that's named it. So he owns the jungle and as I said, Ladybug is a mischievous fairy <laughs> with magical powers and a gatekeeper. And then we've got Donnie Dallas, which is posh, stunt in royal. Um, and then we've got Jelly Bow, which is friendly, um, helpful, and makes noises, doesn't speak. So the moral of this story at the top, I've put teamwork makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work. So let's see if I can create another... Yeah, let's do a new window. And let me just quickly share this with you so that whenever I'm going onto the internet, it's not gonna, you know, mess up. So, so let's share that with you. New share. Do, do. There we go. All right, so now you should be able to see my new window. I'm just going to bring this across. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to type in Facebook. Mm -mm 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 Love and light, people. Love and light. Remember, please donate to the Look Like Me book challenge. There is a link below. Much blessings, much love. Thank you so much for your shares. Um, right, I'm just checking who's on, and now let me just invite a few more groups, just to let people know what up, what up. I should have really done this at the beginning, but you know, hey ho, I'm learning. It's the first time I've done this. Um, I don't think my watch party went very well, people. Ah, oh, sharing my stories. People tend to look at my stories quite a lot. So I'll share there. I've got quite a few pages. Share to a page. Yep, it's been shared. Okay. What's another popular page? My lyrical healer is quite popular. So um manuscript type setting. I don't even want to make this video this long, but hey ho. Oh. It is what it is. Right, okay. Wonderful, wonderful, darling, wonderful. I'll just share to one more, which is quite a lot of shares. Let's see. Ah, oh, and while I'm here, what I will do is I'll show you Crystal Brain Bates six figure income. I've done peaches already. So um, I'll share to leading ladies. Or actually no winsome because it's got more people. So how to lay out your book. All right, and then we'll continue on and we'll wrap up. Any questions, just type them below. Right, so this is the darling Crystal Swain Bates that I've learned from. I love this woman. I've done my journal with her. Someone ordered or went to order a journal today. Um, it's called The Six Figure Self Publishing Secrets with Crystal Bain Sweets. 320,000 books she sold. Can you imagine? You know that's going to be me next year. I'm going for the milli. 
I want a million books sold. Done now. Um, right, okay. So this is the group and it's awesome. We all support each other. We put our little, where'd you get this done? Where'd you get that done? Adi, adi, adi. Um, <laughs> yeah, so really nice. People are commenting on my stuff. And it's a good way to, you know, share information um, and answer questions. So Crystal saw the need for in the importance of projects like this. So I'm going to share this and I could just, and she brought a book as well. Like she's dope. Crystal's dope. Trust me, Crystal is dope. Right. So, um, Ugh, what am I going to do? I'm going to share it here. Yeah, so join Crystal's group. There we go. Top authors information. All must just be friends. Right, okay, so let's crack on. You guys are doing really well. So we're going to share now back to the original screen okay so storyboard this is done i mean you know other people do it a bit more neat i've got writing on the back <laughs> uh -huh. these are just some stills of the workshop really we had great fun and i'm really sad to see it end um right okay so this is what my storyboard looked like it's had different looks i mean you know, this is the pencil version. I thought the picture version was here, but it's not. But it's about 13 pages, so that means 26 if the writing is on the other side. So Crystal taught me how to put it on this side and this side. So the text here and then the images. I cannot draw, so you'd be surprised to see what comes out. It's probably quite hard to see. Um, and then we've got some merchandise. The children have told us what merchandise they want. So we'll be doing duvets and cups and water bottles. So it's really quite exciting times out here. Right, let's go on. So um, now we're gonna make the pages more. So what I know is that I've got 13 images. So 26 pages. So I'm going to just count that through now. And what I like to do is a little italic here. Um, and then I like to give it a new font. Like she signed it, like say this, which looks, doesn't that look so cool? Right. Okay, so we're here at chapters. So let's just make this big for now. And in fact, let's not call that a chapter. Let's just use this at the top. Let's just copy this. And when I get the black and white illustrations, I'll put some stuff on here. So because all of this is correct, I'm just going to put this down and then just put it in black. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to take away chapters, put it in black, and then just bring it down a bit. Okay. So now I'm going to count 26 pages. So 13 pictures times two each of 26. So here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So now our book is a whopping forty-four pages. And what I can tell you is that it might be a bit bigger. <laughs> we might have some text on the pages depending on how they look, but um, yeah, you know, it's massive. 
So that's really good. Then I'm going to try and see if I can insert my page from here of what it is that we do. It's that dreaded box again. So let's see. Probably I think the best thing to do is to go into um, See, this is where you've got to think, like, how you're laying out people's books. Uh, what's the best thing to do? Ah, I think it might be on my desktop. Yeah, there it, there's the logos on my desktop. There we go. So services, I've got a flyer. Um, I'm going to make it tight. Hi, welcome, welcome. Just doing a little bit of a uh, training here. I'm gonna this one actually I'm gonna put behind the text for now um, I'm not gonna stretch it too much but it will look something like this so it definitely won't fill the whole page but we'll give it a good go now I found out how to get my logos on found out I can remember where they were now <laughs> So probably what I'll do, I will, hmm, I will, let's take this off and we'll do a Peaches Pub. So this will be a Peaches publication page and then we're going to do a separate service page. So already it's a big book and we haven't even got lots of, um, we're not even finished yet. Like already it's a big book. It's exciting. So let's just say for now. I mean, I'm going to definitely go through this as we go along because this is not a square, so I don't want to make it, you know, too odd. Um, useful links. Do we need useful links? Let me think. The children. I'm just going to keep it there in case we do. Right, so that's that. Service, services, plural. And then I'm going to put a Peaches publications in the content. So whenever you update the interior, always add at the bottom. And you've got to remember the body. Oh, I'm having fun. Right, I don't know how long I've been on this live, you know. <laughs> Thank you for everyone that shared. Thank you for everyone that has donated. You are appreciated. So I... Okay, lovely, much love. Just checking to see messages. Okay. Now, one of the activity pages I can tell you is going to have a colouring picture. So I'm going to get that up. And again, what I'm going to do is make it in that nice little font. What was it? 72, wasn't it? And then I'm going to center it. It's already centered. So I'm just going to change the font. There we go. Hey, that looks cute. And remember, there'll be some, you know, little black and white drawings. So activity page, activity page. I think maybe activity pages or activity activity learning activity let's just say pages <laughs> i don't know but i will come back to that so let's go and get the black and white version and then i'll put the logo in and then we'll wrap this up so the black and white version is in my folder don't want to make it too big because then the big reveal. Da, 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 da. So we've got a version where it's just black and white and it can be downloaded and young people can colour it. So I'm just copying this now and bam, bam. Look at that. That looks sick. That looks the bomb that comes. 
Now, I think there's a way to make it fit the page. Oh, see, because it's not tight, it just you know, I want to do what I want it to do. All right, let's make it tight. Fixed position on page. There's a way where I'm sure you can just make it stretch to the page without faffing about. So this is going to go all the way to the edge of the page. That looks dope. Da, 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 da. See, this is what I don't understand. Like, oh gosh. It should just move up, folks. And I'm not sure why it's not moving up. And this is what makes this part of my job fiddly. It, it gets very technical. Like, really, it should just slide up. Ah, maybe what I'll do, if I make it behind the text, it should slide up now. Yeah, that's what it is. See, you got to know your stuff. I'm thinking, why is this thing not sliding up? But some of the picture's been cut off, so you've got to notice that. Bring it down again. Notice that. Bring it down again. And just really, as much as possible, get the picture in correctly. See, I'm a bit of a nerd myself. This really just tinkles me. I am born to do this. Ah, oh, that looks dope. I think that looks all right. What do you think? Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining our live. Any questions, please let me know. Please remember to donate. We are wanting to, you know get this published, the Popcorn House, and so on and so forth. So please show love and help and assist. So now that's done, I think the only thing left I'm going to do is go back up and add the logo here, now that I know where they are. <laughs> and then if you've got any questions, I will take them. So, ah, this is interesting, actually. For my own books, I use my black logo. Ah, it's not come out black. That's not the one, then. Um, go back. Yeah, I use my black logo. Because they're my books. So no one doesn't get that, apart from me. <laughs> so 30 young authors will now have a black logo. Bam! That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Regal. Let's just make it, let's make it tight. Hopefully. This gonna work. Um, so something like that. Uh, Make this a bit smaller. See, it's really fiddly, you know. It's not people that understand. This is just giving you an insight, really. Okay, let me see how I think that looks on the page. Mm. Let's make it a bit smaller. Center it again. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I'm fairly happy with that. Right, okay, so if you've got any questions, welcome, welcome, thank you for logging in. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to take them now. Oh, it's all steamed up. <laughs> Let's wipe this off. That's a bit better. There we go. Right, so that has been my little typesetting for the Look Like Me book challenge. Thank you very much for your donations on your GoFundMe page. I'm very happy that you're contributing to such a worthwhile cause. So, um, questions. Do you have any questions? I'll just go through what I've done with you today. And then we're going to wrap up. This is just, you know, an insight, really. We've got loads more to come.
but this just gives you an insight to what happens and what takes really long to do. So I'll just share my screen one last time. I think I've got everything that I want on there. And yeah, 45 pages, that's a big book, you know. Yes, Lady Leisha Marshall Wittar is one of our facilitators. Love, enough love, enough love to you. Right, okay, so I'm going to share one last time. Bam. Right, okay, so let's go to the top. So today, what we did was we started off with one page, which was the popcorn house. It is teamwork makes the dream work. This hasn't been edited yet and it hasn't been uh, fully written yet. We did this based off of a storyboard. The illustrator is now working on it. The size is 21.59. So what we're doing is we're just laying out the structure. So here uh, we put a legal page, as you can see here. This is our legal page. If you just joined us, this is our professional tables of content. If you want that, it's down at the bottom. It's in Amazon as well. I'm still going to figure out how I'm going to do this piece because I don't like the borders behind tie. I prefer it just to be black. So I'll probably get the graphic designer to do that. So I'll be doing the acknowledgements thanking everyone for being a part of it. In fact, one of the ladies that I'm remembering right now is a lady called uh, Veronica Martin. She's been helping us with funding strategies and ideas. So I know definitely I want her to be mentioned. So I'll just put a note there. And then I'll do control, enter. So I'm yet to read the foreword, but I'm sure it's gonna be really good. It's a nice length. Forward is about one or two pages. I might just shorten it down for the little kiddies. Then I'm going to do an introduction from me. Then we've got the popcorn house, which is a story, and we'll probably have some characters around this section of the words just to make it look a bit interesting. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm taking questions now. And then these blank pages that you see are going to be where the, the text is going to go and where the pictures are going to go. So some pictures are going to have text. And it took me three nights to do the storyboard. I was just like, oh, going a bit at one, two, like thinking that like, it's creative thinking. You know, so this is where our story is going to be. And then we've got the activity page. So we've got a nice colouring book. I think as well, we are going to have something like a spaghetti. Let's put that in, a spaghetti. See, look, I've put it on the left and it goes on the right. This is what I have to deal with, people. Spaghetti maze. So they've got to find the maze and then I think we'll have a quiz and then that will be it in terms of the activity. I can't spell spaghetti. Just write your questions at the bottom and I will take them. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Um, and then I'm going to put a quiz. So we'll just ask and see what they know about the story. Okay, um, and then we've got epilogue. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do, but uh, about the authors and services, um, a flyer about what we do and useful links. You see, I don't think we're going to need it. It's a children's book, so I've decided that I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take it out. And what do I need to do? Take it out from the contents page. So my last little thing for today is going to save it and then I'm going to bump 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 save it as yep you've guessed it a PDF because PDF is the printing quality that it needs to sign up hi Hannah hope you're well I'm taking questions now I've just done a manuscript for the for the little popcorn house <laughs> If you've got any questions, right now is the time to ask me before we go. So that's it for the book. Thank you for tuning in. I've really enjoyed myself. And as you can see, it's only been about an hour. Uh, we've got 46 pages done, but it's still not everything. So you can imagine the time that it takes. Um, I'm just going to put a quick note here. The team who, you know, to acknowledge 
the children. So questions, what are your questions? Um, and I guess the parents and we're going to acknowledge all of our seed donors. I'm just making notes here. Seed donors. Thank you everyone that um, has made a donation. We've raised £100 just from this video by the lovely, wonderful Masekwa and Pomone, husband and wife team in America. Um, thank you so much for joining. Okay, uh, questions. Let's see. What are your questions? So let's just save that. I'm going to come out of this, stop sharing. And I'm going to share back onto my Facebook page. Any questions? Are you all shy? Ah, oh, thank you, Hannah. Hannah's doing great things, you know. She's helping women start their own businesses. Like, it was just so touching and so emotional. She's got a great voice. She's a singer. I met her through one of our authors called Nelza Katoja. And Hannah done an interview with me, which I will share as well. And, you know, she's a strong woman of faith. She's got a beautiful voice. She's got her own chat show. And um, I'm loving the journey. I really am. Uh, thank you for reaching out. She's got a beautiful voice. Thank you for her own chat show. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> I'm seeing myself everywhere. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so if you have not got no questions, I'm going to sign out. Um, I'll just tell you the update and where we're going now. Wow, I'm seeing about 10 million versions of myself. Let me come out of this. <laughs> I've got a bit dizzy. Right, okay. <laughs> so if you haven't got any more questions, I'm going to uh, just close. But so what's going to happen next is in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be getting the design images from our graphic designer who is working diligently. And I'm really looking forward to shaping and molding what he brings to me. I've given him a massive brief. So he has got our work on his shoulders but i'm sure he can do it um then we're going to still continue to do our national campaign uh with adam bradford agency who's the queen's young leader and our ambassador anna and we have a new ambassador coming up shortly but i'm not going to tell you who it is but i can tell you he is the former editor of the big issue so people are really getting involved and i just love what what everyone's doing um, and just thank you to all our facilitators. So we've got Sam J. Robinson, we've got Vanessa, uh, we've got uh, Leisha, we have Nelza Katoja, we've had Miris Miriam Manderson. Ah, oh, one more thing I can put into the book. Thank you so much for sharing, Arinola. It's the poem. We've got a poem called The Who Am I Poem. And, well, I was just about to show you all my emails. I don't think that would be a good security thing, do you? <laughs> oh, my gosh, the sun is getting to me. But let me just go into my emails. And we've got this wonderful poet, Ben. I think he's about 19, Ben Wellington. And he's allowed us to use his poem, Who Am I? He created it especially for the Look Like Me group. And he's allowed us to use it. So they're going to do their own poem. So I'm just going to quickly show you that and then we'll definitely close. Write your questions down below. I mean, I'm tingling all over. I, I, this is like, now I just want to finish the book, but we've got to wait for the illustrations. But this is, you know, what I do. And this is what I'm um, passionate about in every, in every way. So share screen. We'll go back to the manuscript one time. Turn on the lights, it's getting a bit dark. Um, where are we going? Here we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is replacing this in the activities page. And um, we've got the spaghetti maze, we've got the quiz. So I think I'll probably put it here. So it's going to, let's make it a bit bigger. Not that big. <laughs> right, so activity, colouring, um, spaghetti maze. So it's going to be called Who am i poem who do you say i am who do you say i am who am i poem so bam let's put this in this is what ben's given us look at that isn't that a beauty so for now i think i will center it yeah i will center it 
I'll take out that title there. Oh, do you know what's interesting? People have been dipping in and out. So I'm going to do a quick spell check here on Caribbean. I think it needs to be a capital C. Um, I'm going to do a quick spell check here on Africa, capital A. Ben Lee. Oh, he's not, he's not calling himself Wellington. Actually, no, I don't need a full stop there. So what I'm going to do is try and make it as big as I possibly can. See, now look, C or UI, that is not Calibri. And these are the things you've got to watch out for. So really, ideally, something like this, I'd like 16, but it doesn't look like it's all going to fit on the page. Even if I bring this up, yeah, it's still not going to fit on the page. So what I'm going to do is a little cheeky trick here. I'm telling you all my secrets, which is 15.5. Oh, I still didn't bring it on. Hold on. So let's see. Okay, his name is not on there. All right, so then it's going to have to just be 15. A little bit smaller than I would like, but, you know, it is what it is. And then I'll organise this as I go along. Oh, thank you for the love hearts. Thank you. Who's giving me love hearts? Let me just have a quick look, see who loves me. Who loves me? I can't see now. Love hearts are gone. Someone loves me. Okay, it's somewhere there. <laughs> I saw them flash up. Thank you. Okay, so I'll have to figure this out. But I'll probably do that for now and then space out his name. And remember what I did before. I did italics and then I chose this little nice little font here just to give it a bit of jazz. Probably make it. Now doesn't that look cool? So then what I'm going to do now, bam, is copy. Yep, I'm a copier. And guess what I'm going to do? Bam! So now what I'm going to say here is now it is your turn to write your very own who am I? Who am I? Poem. And then maybe enjoy and I'm going to take this down to a size 16 take it off bold oops it is there gosh this is a lot of work now I want to sleep ah, okay and then let's do some lines so left the line and then we are going to just bam, 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 all the way through. Actually, mm, no, we're not going to do that. We are not going to do that. What we're going to do is this. So bam, 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 bam. And then we're going to make this actually a thicker line. We're going to bold it out and we're going to make it say what? Let's try Because it. it's children, so we want it to be a bit more yeah that's better isn't it see i'm telling all my secrets in the shizzle in the shizzle manizzle so i would say possibly because they're children maybe i'd structure it out like i don't know do i want to do whole page let's see how many lines this is because you've got to kind of i mean they're the older side Aren't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm, I'm thinking of an eight lined poem, but this looks quite neat. What I'm thinking of, I think we've got another spell check here. Although I'm not a proofreader, if I see something, I do correct it. That's what spell check's for, and that's what Grammarly is for. Right, 
that looks fairly neat, but in my head, I'm thinking, look, pow, line one, line two. So they can just, you know, it's just easier for them. So they don't feel they have to write lots and lots of words. So this is the other thing when I'm doing this kind of work, this creative stuff just drops into my head from what I now know the source. Oh, that's eight. I can't count. Eight, uh, nine, yeah, 10. I'm more happy with this, 11. And then I think it's gonna spill out. So we'll just get rid of these lines. And this is the thing, it moves when you move stuff. Um, you've got to move it again. So we just have to be aware. People are hopping in and out in this show. It's interesting because, you know, you can hop in and out, but it does take time. Right, I promise this is the last change. <laughs> I promise. I promise. Well, I think we've done pretty well for the time, haven't we? Oops. I think we've done pretty well for the time. Let's see. So we've got that page. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I mean, I think that's amazing. We're building the book now. This is where all the images and the text are gonna go. And nice font, I really love that. It's very child friendly. And um, Acknowledgement, seed donations. I'm going to put the voice newspaper. They've been really good at supporting us. So thank you to the voice newspaper. Okay. So I just think, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm done. So last thing, I'll save it. And then when, this is quite interesting, when you go to save as, it will say to you this, you've already filed name manuscript for Popcorn House 120820. Do you want to replace it with this one? Yes, is the short version. If you don't, you're going to end up with two different files. So that's it. That is it. I'm done. Uh, any training, let me know. Any questions? Otherwise, I'm signing out. It's been, my name is Winston Duncan. You can go to the website, Look Like Me Book Challenge. No, sorry, looklikeme.co.uk. Check us out, check us out, check us out. And we'll see you at a bookshop near you. And in fact, let's end on a high note because we like natural highs. So I'm going to share my screen. It's like I don't want to leave y'all. I'm going to share my screen one last time and go pow like this and show you something really special. We are going to go to the water stones. <laughs> the water stones. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tap in the popcorn house. And bam, look what I see. You can pre-order. Cheese! Don't mess about with me on Waterstones. Woo! Yes, I am on Waterstones. It's not even 30 pages, Waterstones. We've got to update that. It's going to be 44, 50. I don't know, but it's going to be a lot more pages. <laughs> Yep, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Like <laughs> levels, levels. So we're currently under the category here of uh, this book can be found interesting poetry, drama, criticism. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna have to change categories. Literacy, history, li literature, history, and criticism. Children and teenage literature studies. Not quite right, really. Children and teenage fiction. That's fine. 
these are called BIC, are they called BIC codes? Yeah, BIC index code, something like that. So we're going to have to look at changing that. So we've got a paperback, we're going to do a hardback version as well. But this is, this is what's up, you can write a review, you know it's coming soon. Pre-order baby. So what I'm going to do now is a quick snip, snippy snip snip. Hold on, let's just shrink it a bit more. And then I love this. Has anyone got this SNI tool? It is amazing. It is amazing. Amazing grace will always be my song. Ah, oh, so look, I've cut the water stones because let's not use that one. Let's do that again. Gotta get water stones in there. And like fingers crossed we'll get distribution i mean will it ever open shops i don't know but we're definitely on their website okay here we go here we go here we go here we go bam and what i'm going to do now is just circle the pre-order button here Show love, people. Show love. I'm so rubbish at my arrows. Let's just rub that out. Okay, here we go. That looks a bit better. <laughs> and I'm going to go like this. We are on water stone. Oh, no, it's not quite right. But this tool is dope, though, if you know how to use it properly. Not that mean. Jeez. All right. Um, let's use a highlighter. Let's see what this looks like. We are on water stones. We are on water stones. We are on water. No, that does not look right at all. What about if I go Jing? If I go Xing Zhong Jing. Jing Jong Jing, do you reckon that will work? Jing Jong Jing, does that look a bit better? <laughs> oh gosh, I have got a pen, but oh, oh, no, stop! <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put that up and I'm gonna say bam, pre order. So, click that, save. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I thought I, <laughs> you could see it, but you can't. So I'm just going to put water stones here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're on water stones. Bam. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise that's it. Even if I think of something, I'm not putting it down. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. This has been the manuscript for the popcorn uh house and this is this is it you know I, this is what i do 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 yeah you're getting some winston duncan magic there for confidence coach and i think i've been on here over an hour so i'm signing off now but thank you very much for your generous donations and i hope you like my jam in here style because we are pop star and i heard my, my my hairdresser saying that someone was trying to copy the lick so you know what i had to do i had to do a new hairstyle because you can't copy me i'm copywritten baby copywritten don't watch me all right cool peace blessings thank you so much check us out look like me .co.uk there's a free download to the banner and I don't think there's any questions I'll just double check one more time but we out any more questions and let's have a look let's have a look nope I don't see any but thank you for all the lovely shares we out peace You know what let me lick some tune on the way out because you know what this is this is a straight up celebration so i'm gonna celebrate i don't business i'm gonna celebrate celebrate with myself i've got my watery avocado drink 
one or two ice cubes in there. Here we go. Actually, no, we're not going to celebrate because when I put this onto YouTube, they're going to take the sound off. So no, I'm going to celebrate by myself. All right then. <laughs> Bye.